want to win instantly more points when you go out and play tennis then this video is for you we're going to be going over different strategies and different tips nothing about your swing nothing about different elbow positions just plain tips to help you win more points the first tip that i want you to do next time you're on court is make sure that you are not at the baseline when players are at the baseline think the first thing if someone hits me a neutral ball i have to move back where do you see Nadal? Where do you see Medvedev? Where do you see them stand on the court? You see them stand all the way behind. Now, you don't have to be that far behind, but I want you to start further back when you're in your ready position. So when I start in tennis, I'm going to be back here. I am not going to be up here. If I'm back here now, someone hits me a neutral rally ball, what, what can I do? Boom, move up and then hit it, okay? So first one, I want you to stand further back in the court when you're waiting for a ball. The second thing, if you ever get tight when you're serving, all you're going to do is hit your second serve as your first serve. We all have times when we go out and play and our first serve is just not working, right? You can't get it in, you're afraid to double fall, you sacrifice quality, what are you going to do? You're going to hit your second serve as your first serve. You're going to hit your second serve as your first serve. You're going to get twice the amount of times to get the ball in. So again, if you ever get tight, what are you going to do on your serve? You're going to hit your second serve as your first serve. The next thing that you're going to do, you're going to play with more height. Too many players are inconsistent because they go too low over the net. If you go too low over the net, you're going to have a low percentage chance of winning and getting the ball in. So what I want you to do is aim for height. Play with height every single time. Too many players, they forget, what do we have on the court, guys? We have gravity. Hit the ball higher up in the air and increase your consistency. The next thing that you're going to do, you're going to be on your toes. If you want to get to more balls, you're not gonna be on your heels. Too many players, their weight's on their heels. Ball's forehand, backhand, and they can't get it. If your weight's on your toes, watch. My heels are never touching the ground except when I step into the ball then I'm going to be able to get to way more balls. So I'm on my toes, I'm moving, I'm moving and hitting. I'm on my toes, I'm moving, I'm moving and I'm hitting. Hopefully I'll get them in, okay? So the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to be on your toes and not in your heels. Now you want a little bit more power. You want a little bit more control when you hit. What are you going to do? You are going to drop your center of gravity. If I'm six foot tall, I'm gonna be five foot tall when I hit. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit more into my legs. By getting more into my legs, it's going to give me more power, more consistency, and control. If I can keep my body down when I hit, that's not going to pop my body up as much and lose consistency. Also, again, you will get more power. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to watch the ball for a split second longer than you ever have before. Some players, what they do, yeah, okay, they hit and they look up to see wherever the ball goes, they lose control. Other people, they do watch the ball, but I want you to watch the ball for a split second longer. So you're going to keep your head down and watch the ball for a split second longer when you hit. Once again, I'm going to keep my head down and watch the ball for a split second longer. You will be able to get more control. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is I want you to hold the racket looser than you ever had have before. I want you to let the racket work for you. Do not work for the racket, okay? So the next thing that you're gonna do, even if you already hold this racket loose, I want you to hold the racket looser. By holding the racket looser, you're going to be able to generate more spin. You're going to be able to hit twice as big of a ball without doing half the amount of work. So then again, we are going to be looser. The last thing that I want you to do is I want you to follow through. Actually, not last thing, second to last thing. So I want you to follow through. Every single time that you finish, even if you follow through, I want you to exaggerate. So for my forehand, I'm gonna hit, exaggerate that follow through. Backhand, one-hander, exaggerate. Two-hander, exaggerate my follow through every single time and you will be able to play better tennis. Now, the last tip that you are going to do is you are going to be moving on an angle. This is a huge tip that other than being on your toes, will allow you to get to way more balls. Watch. Where players go wrong is that if they have a forehand, they move out here. If they have a backhand, I move out here. Notice, I move side to side, right? Okay, that's good, but you wanna to get to more balls, you're going to cut the angles in the court. Instead of moving side to side, watch. I'm going to move up and hit. If they hit, hit me an out wide backhand, I'm going to move up and hit. 
by moving on an angle, moving in a V instead of moving side to side, you will be able to get two more balls, okay? Same thing on the volley, right? I'm going to move up, right? If I ever have a volley, I don't wanna move over here. What did I say? Tyler told me to what? Move in a angle. Once again, I'm going to move diagonal while I hit, and then I will be able to get to more balls. Now, guys, I hope this video helped you. Again, these things that I just referenced, you will instantly be able to win more points and play better tennis. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below.